The 21 most important FIGU rules. Source contact report 598 excerpt. 1. The FIGU is not a group or an association that finally gives simple answers to the questions of people searching for the effective truth or that can experience something special that makes them feel accepted and protected. 2. The instructions given in relation to doctrine are understandable and comprehensible to any person who thinks clearly and rationally, but it takes initiative to implement them personally. 3. The teaching of the Figu is not aimed at the fact that, as a result of working on this, something could be done for the future in such a way that it can change for the better. For the Figu is not a family, but a free interest group of like-minded people who are all learners, and are anxious to get their own life under control in the right way, and to acquire a correspondingly positive individual lifestyle and lifestyle. So old members of the association do not take new members under their wing to address their questions and worries, but are taught that every person must be his own master and master, and build himself up and accept himself in every relationship and from his own effort and strength. 5. The Figu is not directed with its ideas to improve the world and mankind, because the teaching is solely directed to the individual person taking himself by the curb, to build up and develop himself, thought emotion psych as well as love, knowledge wisdom, and behavior-wise, in the same way as everything is given by the creative natural laws and commandments, which only have to be perceived, recognized, understood, and comprehended. 6. The Figu has no master or guru, etc., who would pass on a supposedly perfect teaching to humanity through which salvation and salvation is to be brought. For the Figu has only one Kundar teacher, who teaches the teaching of ancient knowledge with regard to the perception and knowledge of the creative natural laws and commandments, as these have always been recognizable in free nature. After the death of the Kundar teacher, Billy Edward Albert Meyer, Billy Edward Albert Meyer, the FIGU core group in the Mother Center Switzerland, is responsible for the internal and worldwide management of FIGU. 7. FIGU does not misjudge that humanity is doomed to extinction by falling away from the true teaching, and consequently it does not misjudge that the state of humanity and the world will improve by returning to the true teaching, because the teaching of FIGU is solely aimed at the positive development of the personality, character and behavior, etc. of the individual human being, according to his own motivation, desire, and will. 8. The teaching of truth, teaching of the spirit, teaching of life, which is taught by the Figu, is understandable in its importance to every man gifted with understanding and reason, as well as to people who are open to reality and its truth. 9. The teaching of Figu does not in any way assume that earthly mankind is blinded and lost, and consequently does not assume that salvation. Redemption and salvation is only possible by accepting and following the Figu teaching, because in principle it teaches only the possibility of building up the personal well-being of man through his correct behavior in relation to thoughts, feelings and the psyche, as well as the way of life, lifestyle, interpersonal relations, the acceptance of nature, humanity, tolerance, and all human positive behavior values in general. 10. The teaching of the Figu is not perfect and not perfect, for it is constantly being expanded, according to new insights into all aspects of human life, nature and its fauna and flora, as well as into consciousness evolution, insights from the creative natural laws and commandments, expandable knowledge and wisdom, etc. 11. The teaching of Figu cannot be interpreted as a result of a belief or assumption, but only according to reality and its indisputable truth which also means that there is always only one truth, which results fundamentally only from reality and its facts. 12. The Figu doctrine is aimed at people discussing and learning from them, because only in this way can doubts and distrust be revealed, discussed, and clarified, but the doctrine must not be falsified by untruths. 13. There is no attempt to convert adversaries or to let them become adversaries of another sense, for their actions and deeds are their business with which they have to come to terms themselves. 14. When people join the Figu and its teaching, they therefore do not have to separate themselves from family members, acquaintances, and friends, because the Figu is a free community of interests, in which all interests of the members are and remain completely their own, provided that these are not illegal, criminal, and inhuman or inhuman, etc. 15. 
In the Figu, there are no rules which are determined by a higher authority and must be accepted without contradiction. Because in principle, rules and regulations are discussed in the Figu core group and decided only by a unanimity of all present members, while in the passive groups, the majority of votes applies. 16. In the Figu, as in every club, there is a certain order, as there must be in every family if it is to function properly. But this does not mean a principle of unfaltering discipline, which would require an unfaltering obeying of an authority or allow no mistakes. 17. In the Figu, private things can be done by the members, whether they are useful or not, and it is also possible to separate oneself from others in order to cultivate one's own interests, so that there would not be a strict order which would allow only one principle of absolute community, because the freedom of the individual human being is guaranteed in every respect. 18. In the Figu, the time must and must not be given only for the mission. Consequently, this must not only be made available to the Figu, but must also be used for the private leisure time and for the private life. 19. If members in the Figu have doubts about the doctrine with regard to its reality, truth, and effectiveness, then these are very well taken into consideration and can be discussed, whereby also the own opinion of each person is considered and recognized, and also everything is thoroughly clarified, without influencing, threatening, or compulsive manipulations. 20. In the Figu, the rule applies that every person who is interested out of his own interest is not missionized for the teaching of truth, teaching of the spirit, teaching of life, and must decide for himself for or against the teaching, whereby it is absolutely released to him how much time he needs for his decision. Consequently, it can be hours, days, weeks, months, years, or even decades, if at all. 21. In the Figu, every human being is given the importance and the right to spend enough time to learn about something that has been heard or read in the teachings of the Spirit, and to learn about something that has been taught or read in the teachings of the Spirit. Only by really dealing with the teaching in a profound intellectual and emotional way, by making one's own thoughts and feelings about everything, and by opening oneself to one's way of life, one's shaping of life and one's goal in life out of one's very own interest and will, can one find and make known reality and its truth? Simyase, Silver Star Center, the 28th of September, 2014, 18.16 HRS.